fight coming up next. It is a welterweight showdown between Tiago Pitbull Alves and Tim Means. While well, fans around the world have been waiting with bated breath for this young man to make his walk to the octagon, that wait ends tonight. And man, is this guy's wrestling high level, borderline world class, collegiate credentials to prove it. And you gotta think he figures to lean on that wrestling in this matchup tonight. Not just good at getting guys down, Joe, but controlling them once they are there. Scary proposition for really any non-grappler on this UFC roster. This guy has insanely fast kicking technique. If you are within kicking range, you are in a world of trouble. So, Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, we have to start with the kicking technique. It's excellent. Doesn't telegraph anything. Gets his foot to the target as quickly as any fighter on this UFC roster. More often than not, guys don't even see it coming. He attacks that lead leg beautifully. Opponent certainly is wary of those lightning fast kicks coming in here tonight. Tiago Alves is a very dangerous striker. He has knockout power in his hands and feet, and he also cuts a ton of weight to compete in this weight class. And it's probably coming in 20 pounds heavier than what he weighed in at. this welterweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler, only a professional record of 28 wins, 10 losses, and one draw. He stands six feet two inches tall, Weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, Tim the Dirty Bird Mills. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a mixed martial artist, holding the national record of 26 wins, 13 losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Palermo, Tiago Pitbull Alves! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this Ready one. Fight. Ready. All right, we are underway here from Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Leg kick checked by me. by that head kick. Oh, solid jab. They're certainly getting after it early. Big oh, shot with the left. left hand lands. Clean overhand. Oh, what a leg kick. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's gonna have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Got to get his head off the center line. Nice hook there. A timely defense there. Huge block for him. <laughs> Lead kick landed there by Alvis. Nice body kick, though. There he swung with a haymaker. Body kick, look at that. Big right hand, a left hand rather. Boom, shin to the dome. That one oh, appeared to start. Tagged. Big shot, he's got him right here. Oh, straight right. Oh! And here he is. 
He's back in familiar territory in the clutch. There's a nice kick. Alves gets caught with that punch. Whoa! He hurt him. Oh, he might be out. This could be it. Misses with the left punch there. Straight to the body by Meeks. Oh, very nice. Big kick, but miss. Final minute of round one. They continue to exchange. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Huge block there. Well, Joe, you gotta fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right into his opponent's striking range. He would be wise to get his head off of the center line and stop leaning in. Wow! This fight is dangerous. Oh. Signaling the end of the round. Thankfully for him, that'll keep him in the fight. Knocked down near the end of the round. Saved by the bell, ladies and gentlemen. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. The lovely Brittany Palmer is with us. Ready, fight. Ready. Second round underway. Starting off this round, you've got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really strong. He hurt him. A huge roundhouse kick for the knockout. Indeed, Joe, that was a tremendous kick to end the fight tonight. Caught the opponent flush with full force and extension. And frankly, there was no chance after that. The fight was over as soon as that one made contact. Certainly one for the highlight reel here tonight. Here we see it from a different angle. And here it is again. Crank right on the jaw. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 28 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Keanu Pitbull Alvarez. So there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joey. Gets a big win by way of the knockout. Certainly kept the judges out of it here tonight. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way, but there will be no wiping the smile off of his face tonight. He will party deep into the night with his friends, his family. A huge knockout turned in by that man here tonight.